Over the last month or so, racist scammers has become something that's a very, very common occurrence for me. And today I'm gonna show you one of those scammers. Today I'm calling a refund scammer who's trying to charge me over $800 for a fake antivirus renewal. And we're gonna see exactly how they react after I'm able to get on their computers and destroy everything that they have. Okay. Now, sir, try to open up your PayPal account. Try to go on to your PayPal account. You can minimize the desk. Just minimize it. Okay. Like, make it small okay. or close it? Now, try to pull up. Like, make it small or close it? Sir, make it small. Do not close it. Just minimize it. Okay. And try to pull up the PayPal application. Try to pull up your PayPal account so that we can run a security scan and check where exactly well, I don't the have an application like a program. I use the website. Yeah, you can go online. Yes, sir. I'm really sorry for that because there is no application for, I believe, this PayPal for the computer, so you need to go online yeah, and try I don't to log use into a, your PayPal account. I don't use the phone for it. So as you just heard there, the scammer is trying to get me to open up my PayPal account. And that's essentially because he wants me to log into my PayPal account. And then he'd be able to go ahead and block my screen and take all of the money out of my account. What I'm doing right here is while all of that is going on in the background, he's having me go to PayPal. I'm actually going through downloading all the files off of his computer. So on the left side, those are my files. And those are where his files are going to go after I download them. And on the right side, those are his files where I'm downloading them from and where I'm eventually going to get rid of all those because I'm just such a nice guy. That's what's going to happen on the screen right now. So keep that in mind when you're seeing this page. Isn't that not being able to have any of my stuff going? I'm really okay, sorry. I'm on answer. PayPal. I completely understand your concern. Try to log in into your account, sir. And what am I looking for on my security my... department? Sorry, what'd you say? Sir, my security department is running a security scan right now. Once you will be in your PayPal account, just let me know. I'll tell you what you need to check there, okay? Okay. And do I accept or deny this thing on the bottom here? We we'll use cookies to improve your experience on this site. May we use marketing sure, cookies to show you Click personal yes, ads? Yes. Click on yes, I accept for the better quality of service. Okay, and that's not going to charge me anything, right? Not at all, sir. This is, not, this is a free of charge service because this is regarding your security. And the refund will going to initiate into your account once we will trace the transaction and cancel it. Uh, are you in your PayPal, sir? Did you log into your PayPal account? Well, I'm on the screen with it. Oh, I didn't type my full email in. Okay, okay. Take your time. Take your time, sir. <sighs> this is sorry. This is just very frustrating and stressful because I wasn't expecting something something like this to come up today. You, you get what I mean? I wasn't expecting anything like this. So... I'm just a bit stressed out. I understand if, that, sir, but... If you understand. I'm a bit stressed out about this whole situation. Because I thought having the, the account, because I have a password and everything set on it. So I thought that that means it's good. You know? So, that's what All I'm right. doing. All right, sir. Don't worry about and that. What? A password. So at this point, as you can see there, the scammer goes and he starts looking at his desktop screen a few times there. And I think he's doing that because he's starting to get suspicious that things are off because on the bottom of the screen, like the freaking icons are disappearing. Like <laughs> as everything's getting deleted, his icons are disappearing and he's probably wondering what just happened to all my icons. And then he's looking at his desktop and it's just a barren mess where everything that he had on there before is different and it's just the shortcuts to his program. So I think at this point he gets really suspicious because he goes totally quiet for like the next minute or so here. And then you guys are going to see what happens after that. Okay. And then can you take a look at your desktop? I'm sorry. 
Can you can you take a look right there at your desk screen? Sir, yes, I can. Yeah, what happened? I, I I just deleted all your files and took your files off your computer, buddy. Can Can you tell so, me why you're wonder, trying to scam me? I'm gonna have it again. <laughs> you didn't even have your I OneDrive do, I, set up, Ben Chode. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on the Tor browser? So, <laughs> Huh? <laughs> let's see. Let's go through these files no, that you got here. Sir, Federal that's Reserve 65. System. Oh, you're you're pretending to be the Federal that's Reserve? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a federal crime, oh, right? right? That's yeah, that's a federal Very crime, right? Truth. Oh, here's all the customer Very information of the right, people right. that you scammed, right, Gondu? Let's see. Let's see where you're at, Benchod. You you want you don't want to reconnect to my computer? You wanted me to log into my PayPal, right? Let's see. Let's see where you're at, Ben Chode. I'm guessing Delhi. That's what I'm guessing. Let's see. Oh, Delhi! <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I think he's gone. Yeah. So this guy, uh, this guy was pretending to work uh, for the Federal Reserve. So after that, he hangs up on me. As you heard there, um, the phone call totally goes off. I think he actually might have shut off his computer. And because he's running his phone software on his computer, the phone call also dropped at the same time. I'm imagining that's what happened there. So I, I go through this guy's files and he's literally pretending to also work for the Federal Reserve. As you can see right here on the screen, the Federal uh, Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, Washington, D.C. This this guy is literally committing a federal crime pretending to work for the Federal Reserve. Now, some parts of this are blurred out because it's a victim's name. I looked through and he has a couple of different ones of these with different people's names, but the wire transfer amount is the same every time. As you can see there, $70,000. They're trying to scam people out of $70,000 and steal their money. So, oh my gosh, man, these scammers, they, they, they literally go for everything. They will take every single drop that they can get and they will not stop stealing from somebody until they have nothing left. And even then they'll probably try to steal more of nothing. They'll just try and steal more because that's what these guys do. So after that, I go and I call back and now I get another scammer in the same call center, but this guy is super racist. Thank you for calling PayPal. You are speaking with John. How may I help you today? Oh man, I was just speaking to somebody and my phone call cut off. All right, sir, can you tell me how may I help you today? Yeah, I'm trying to speak to Ravi. Okay, regarding what? This PayPal charge that I got. I was talking to him and then the phone call cut off. Okay, what is the amount? Uh, $645 says for this Bitcoin. Bitcoin charge. Do you have any desk? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Can you tell me your address number? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, let me pull it back up here. Where am I at? Take your time, yeah. sir. I'm really sorry for the trouble. And yeah, it's fine. I'm just worried about this charge on my account. Okay, yeah. I got it open here again. Did you said the number here? Which bank account do you deal with, sir? Oh, I have Wells Fargo. I opened this any desk thing here again. How m and, sir, how much is the balance in your Wells Fargo? What do you mean? Am I checking account? Or my savings account? You can tell me both. Savings and check in both. I think do in my check in, maybe. Less than a million. Less than a million? In your checking account or the savings account? In both, I have less than a million. Oh, you have to do something about your life, n you motherfucking asshole. Wow, another racist scammer. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I keep telling you guys, these scammers are no good, man. I keep telling you guys. 
So, yeah, as you saw there, he asked me how much I have in my bank account if I have less than a million dollars and then calls me the N-word. The guy who is stealing for a living is talking about me having less than a million dollars. <laughs> the guy who can't even get a job. Oh, man, sometimes, you know, I really, really wondered if these scammers actually think about the situation that they're in when they insult people like this and try and say these things because it it, it really it, it just makes you look like a fool you're scamming for a living my guy you don't even have a real job <laughs> Like, gosh, man. After that, I go and I call back and I'm actually able to get in contact with another scammer. And he tells me that his system isn't working or something. So he has somebody call me and then I'm actually able to get onto that scammer's computer too. So shout out to all the people that actually made it to this part of the video because you're about to get a two for one of two different scammers getting everything deleted. Also, I'd like to mention that all of this was live streamed on both Twitch and my second channel on YouTube. So if you're interested in the live streams and you want to come and join, both of those links will be the top links in the description below. So come out and check out the streams. Let's get into this next call. Hello? Hi, sir. This is Rodney. How are you doing today? Hello. Who is this? Uh, so this is Rodney from PayPal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was supposed to get a call back from you. I guess yeah, the other yeah. guy was so having some okay. issue or something. I've been yes, having sir. him coming on the phone, been on him with the phone for 30 minutes. And I understand that, sir. Please log into your uh, computer, sir. Click on accept. Yeah, I'm on my computer. I keep seeing this thing that just keeps popping up on my screen. The other guy was telling me that I was able to get my money back and now I have to be transferred to some executive or something. Yes, 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 sir. So what do... So what's, what am I supposed to do? How am I getting my money back? Right. Sir, please log into your email. My email? Or, my, or yes, sir. I thought I was getting my money back. Yes, sir. Please log into your email. I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Give me a second. My email or PayPal? Your email, sir. Log into your email, sir. So at this part here of the call, it actually goes extremely quiet because essentially what I'm doing is I'm downloading his files. As you can see right here, I have it sped up a little bit because it's like a few minutes of just straight quiet because I'm trying to take up this guy's time. I'm pretending, oh, where's the email? How do I log in? I'm, you know, clicking on random things on the computer. What's going on here? I'm an old guy. I don't know how to use computers. And he's just kind of sitting there watching me do all this. But of course, in the background, I'm down downloading all of his files and he has no idea that it's happening so <laughs> so what's going to happen next here is now i'm going to delete everything and i will show you guys that in the normal non-sped up version and then you're going to witness something very very uh it, it, it's you're going to be like no 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 so close so yeah all right here we go Turn on. Select all squares with crosswalks if there are none. Hold on, sir. Let me do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, it's telling me to select some sort of picture on the on the computer here. What am I supposed to do with these picture things? Yeah, select both the pictures. Well, it's, it's like some picture of a street. It keeps. It says select yeah. all squares with crosswalks, if there are none, click skip. Why is it having me select pictures? I don't understand. Sir, this is just to verify that you're not a robot. This is from Google, not from me. So well, select I'm both the pictures on the left hand. Robot. I'm talking on the phone right now. I know, I know. I just select like the, the two road. pictures on the left. On the left, on the left, sir. Extreme left. Just the two pictures on the left. These two? Yeah, I just got them. Select all squares with motorcycles. Two. So I do these two or all around? Hello?
Hello? Do I do just these two, or do I do all around? Sir, the two on the left and the two on the right. You have done both on the right. Now do on the extreme left. I mean the two on the left, where you can see the mirror and the hand and the legs. Yes. These the two? Leg. Now click on verify. Do I do the leg or not the leg? Just click on verify. Verify. Okay, now it's got a checkbox. Click on verify. Click on what? Verify, yes. Where's verify? What do you see now? I don't Click see on verify. Next. How do Click I get on to next. verify? Sir, oh, click next. on Click. Now put in your password. Oh, yeah. Now it's asking me for my password. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting my password in. Okay, I typed right there. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I typed the password right there. Hello? <laughs> he hung up on gosh dang it. Uh I I I tried going for a memes, but it wasn't gonna work. So I I delete <laughs> the call just hung up. I couldn't show it on screen because I have had everything right there, but we deleted and uploaded all that stuff to his computer. <laughs> gosh dang it.